Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really fun video. I'm gonna be doing a try on clothing haul and I have been doing quite a bit of shopping over the last week or so. I'm trying to make it sound better by saying the last couple of weeks, but actually the majority of these things I've purchased in the last week and they are all sort of like lighter, slightly brighter. There's still a lot of black and gray in here, but pieces that are sort of helping me to transition from my fall winter wardrobe now into spring. And it is always warm here in Miami. It's already like in the eighties. So these are great things because they are like wear now options. They're things that I can currently start to wear. And again, just incorporate into my daily dressing. So really excited to share these with you guys. And I'm not gonna talk too much. I'm just gonna jump into it because I do have quite a bit to get through. Before I do, if you are new here, I'm Arielle and I upload videos twice a week on Thursdays and Sundays. So make sure that you are subscribed and you hit that little notification bell so that you don't miss any of my content. Okay. Let's do this. So the first things that I have to share with you guys, I am so freaking over the moon excited to be sharing with you guys. And they are by L Space, which is one of my all time favorite, favorite, favorite swimwear lines. And it's really cool because they did reach out to me and asked if they could send me over a couple of pieces from their May lookbook. I will have links down below to the L Space items as well as all of the other items that I'm going to be sharing. And I will have a link to their May lookbook because it is absolutely stunning. Do very, very comfortable and fun on trend swimwear and the first piece I'm going to share with you guys is the Julia top and this is it right here so it's this gorgeous tone of blue and I adore this it actually reminds me of the color of the water here in Miami and in the Caribbean it's just absolutely beautiful and it does have these ring details which are very on trend for swimwear right now and it crosses like this at the back so I love this top. The minute I put it on, I was just kind of like, oh my God, this is gonna be my go-to swimsuit for the summer. Now with a lot of these like designer swim lines, it's difficult. I'm a 36C, so you know, it's hard to find bathing suits, whether they're inexpensive or expensive, you know, will kind of fit somebody who is a little bit curvier, especially up top, especially on my hips. You know, a lot of these lines are cut for girls that are very, very tiny, but, but with L-Space, you know, I own so many of their pieces just from years of trying to find bikinis that fit. And I feel like their sizing is not only consistent, but it really just works on everybody, just all of the cuts and things. And, you know, I will be doing a try on, so you guys will see now that this bikini holds my boobs up very well. It is incredibly comfortable, it's flattering, and I just absolutely adore it. Here is the bottom. So this is also in the same gorgeous blue color, and the name of this bottom is the Whiplash Bottom. So I'm not gonna do a try on of myself with the bottom on just because I don't know if that will get me demonetized or in trouble with YouTube, but you can definitely see that it's one of those high leg cuts, which I really freaking love. This cut is so flattering on me. It's like this kind of helps to give me a little bit more of that illusion of like a curve and a smaller shape because of where they hit on the waist. It's a little higher up. So I just love a good high leg bikini and they really, really nailed it with sending this over to me. It's flattering, it's comfortable, and I know some people like to mix and match their bikinis, but I love a good set. And before I forget, I am a size large in their bikinis. Again, consistently across the board, every bikini or one piece that I do own from L Space is a size large and this is no exception, but it fits comfortably, it's great. And you guys, this is one thing I always say, you know, go for the size that fits you and that you're comfortable in. Don't worry about tags. Don't worry about what it says. Nobody is checking what size you are. L Space were not only kind enough to send me over the gorgeous bikini set, they sent me over the cutest little beachy romper. So it's this little guy right here. As you can see, it's like a baggy romper, just ties at the shoulders, and it has these cute little buttons just down the side and the most amazing thing ever, it has pockets. I am big on pockets. Cover-ups have to have a little pocket situation going for me. So this is absolutely perfect. It's light, it's comfortable, it is cotton and it has this great little pattern. It's not just like a flat white material. So I think you guys can kind of see it there with the sun. It's really bright in Miami today. I <laughs> love that it's baggy. It doesn't cling. It's incredibly comfortable. This is actually called the Karina Romper. So again, I will have these things linked down below. A huge, huge thank you to L Space. Again, I cannot wait to throw on this little outfit and just like run around the beach, run around Soho in it. After talking about L Space and how amazing that bikini set is, this next 
thing I'm gonna show you just pales in comparison. And I was actually in H&M and I picked up a bikini because I really liked the, I guess, color of it, the style of it. And I don't typically buy bikinis from H&M and I will show you guys why in just a moment. But you know, it's just kind of a testament that for me, and again, somebody who is a little curvier, it's um, it's imperative that you have a good bathing suit that is going to support you. So I picked this little set up and this is, it's so cute, like this is the top. So it's this really cute light yellow color. It's kind of like out of this ribbed material and it has this, I guess you would call this kind of like a tortoise uh, shell acetate plastic ring in the middle. So I love the look of this. I am very guilty of shopping without trying things on. Um, I bought this in a size 40, again, my consistent size. The top and the bottom are both European size 40, US 10, and it fits well. My only issue is with the top that like, it doesn't really support me or hold me up. Um, you know, just for example, in the way that the L space one did, you guys will see now when I do the top try on that, you know, my boobs are looking a little saggy in it. It's not horrible by any means. Um, I did actually wear this to the beach a few days ago and you know, it didn't look bad. I didn't feel uncomfortable. It's just that I feel like these straps are so thin that you know, they don't really support as much as I need them to. Again, I'm a 36C, so if you have a larger chest, I feel like bikinis like this with these thin little straps, you might just wanna skip them. Um, unless they're the ones that you can like really pull it and like tie it at the back, those I'm always fine with. But for as cute as this is, you know, again, the support isn't there. I do like that it has the padding that you can take in and out but um, I just wish that these straps weren't so flimsy. I can't really complain about the bottoms. These are the bottoms right here. I do have like circle tan lines now on my hips, but you know, no one's really gonna see that, who cares? Besides anyway, if I wear like a different bikini, which I probably will wear this one, the L space one, the next time that I go to the beach, that'll kind of correct itself um, tanning wise. Again, nobody sees that, but yeah, no complaints about the bottom. Really cute, really comfy. It's just that top, that top kind of messed me up. Thing I am a sucker for some good visual merchandising because also from H&M, I picked this up. It was like hanging right next to the little yellow bikini. And it's just kind of like this giant sort of like oversized t-shirty style cover up. So just a little like shifty dress. It's cotton, it's lightweight and it's almost like an oatmeal color with gray stripes. And I just thought this was really easy. Again, this will match with like any bikinis. It's great for the pool. Next piece was actually very generously sent over to me by my girl, Mel Soldera, and it is from her Shop Style Society shop. So I will link it down below again, as with everything. And it's this adorable little like off the shoulder cover up, but I feel like calling it a cover up is almost like doing it a disservice because you can totally wear this out with like a little heel as an actual dress. It is so so freaking cute. I love the little ruffle detailing at the sleeve. I love the pattern. It's so perfect for me because it's basically like black and nude. It's definitely a little lighter for me than wearing like an all black dress, but you've still got the black detailing in there, which you guys know I love. I have a dark soul, I guess, because I'm always in like blacks and grays, but um, yeah, this is just so comfortable. I love that it's not sheer, it is aligned. So this is a great quality dress. So I've actually already worn this and I got tons of compliments on it. Again, I will have it linked down below Hello. Again, thank you so much, Mel. You just kind of nailed it with this one. You know I'm gonna be living in that. Sort of sticking with the theme of dresses, I definitely bought something that's a little bit out of character for me and I might return it. I'll tell you guys why in just a second. I hate returning things, but I bought this so, it's just so cute, it's so comfortable, but I'm having an issue with it. It's a dress from James Pierce. James Pierce, I don't, I don't know how you say it. It's one of their longer dresses. So it's ruched just down the side here and it kind of like wraps around the body. It is sleeveless. It has like a little bit of a crew neck going on and it sort of flares out at the bottom. So it's not like super bodycon when it goes past the hips. I love this. It is so comfortable. I fell in love the moment I tried it on and I did actually get it on sale. It was 225 and I got it for like 130 or something like that from James Pierce. I absolutely fell in love with this. Their dresses, all of their clothing really, I only own a few pieces because it is a bit pricier, but they're just made out of this like insanely soft and light cotton, but it really, really holds up well. So I thought this would be perfect, whether it be like during the daytime with some sandals or some cute little like low top sneakers 
sneakers or even going out to dinner with a little heel you know you can do so much with their dresses and i finally kind of like caved and bought one since i found it on sale i actually talked about this in my vlog today so i will link that down below with like the timestamp if you want to know like more detail but the only problem is I feel like when I put this on for my um, like my try on portion and I saw myself in the viewfinder, don't know why I didn't notice this when I tried it on. It really, really, really shows my scoliosis. And I know that sounds crazy. Um, it's really apparent in person. Like any of you guys that know me in real life or like have seen me in real life, I'm like lopsided. Um, I have really bad scoliosis. It's gotten really bad over the last couple of years. And so much so that like I've actually now started to notice it and other people have started to notice it and that's like a whole other video for another time. Um, I talk about that in a vlog so if you guys do want to know more about that I'll link it down below but I feel like it really really shows it and it looks like I'm like leaned to the side. It just I don't know. I feel kind of like self-conscious now about wearing it. Um, so yeah, I'm not too sure. I'm kind of sad because I feel like I might have to either return this or exchange it for one where it's like more symmetrically ruched if that makes sense like on both sides because they do have some now this item i have owned for a couple of weeks you may have seen it on my instagram story i've been wearing it quite a bit with like denim and little shorts it's this white blazer from zadig and voltaire the collar does stand up on it it's a nice cotton material so really good breathable material for the hot weather in miami Oh my god i already got makeup on the inside of it that's the only downside with like that popped up collar i have another blazer from them that has that collar that stands up and like it's hard to not get your makeup on it but i absolutely adore this it fits very well and i just love the look of like little denim shorts with a great blazer thrown on top and i think that for the summer a white blazer is a really great way to lighten that look up i would definitely recommend their jackets and their tailorings the deacon bulls here do amazing blazers next up i bought this cute little romper from urban outfitters i actually got it in the sale for like 39 40 dollars and i just love this it's nice and flowy and it does come with this little like waist tie so that you can either cinch your waist up a little bit or just wear it nice and baggy and the details on it are just so cute i know you probably can't tell in this lighting but it fits really well you guys can kind of see it's like this um dotted material it has some lace detailing just down the arms as you can see right there the same detailing just around the bottom of the romper right there you can kind of see that i also picked up a few things from zara you guys know that i have been loving zara again lately i've been having really good luck with them and their clothing got this simple little black top just to wear with shorts or boyfriend jeans so it does have this neck part right here and then it drapes down and crosses over so this is pretty straightforward i absolutely love this i'm probably going to wear this out this weekend with some new jeans that i picked up which i will show you guys in a moment this next piece from Zara I am in love with, but I can't show it to you on because I accidentally grabbed the wrong size. So it's this adorable multicolored romper and it's kind of sad that I can't show it to you guys on because it looks like crap on the hanger. But basically I accidentally took the size medium instead of the large. I'm a large in Zara like pretty much across the board. That's kind of disappointing because I had the large in my hands and now I'm going to go back there later today and hope, fingers crossed, that they still have a large in stock because they only had two mediums and a large left when I bought this. Then the final item from Zara is this black and white spotted dress. So it just kind of crosses over at the front. It's got these little ruffly sleeves and a deep v-neck. I just love this. It's so light and airy and I always need to have little dresses like this in my closet, in my wardrobe, like updated ones that fit well because I am that person that like I never plan my outfits ahead and sometimes when I'll have like something to go to like a nicer dinner or whatever, I'll be like, oh my God, I don't have anything. So I always like to pick up cute dresses like this that are just like easy to throw on with some little heels or a little sandal. I don't have to think about it too much. So that when I am in a situation where I need to dress up a little bit, you know, get myself out of my denim shorts and jeans, I can just kind of grab any one of these out of my closet and be like, I'm good to go. Final item, guys. I feel like I am fully cheating on frame denim. You guys know that like frame and J brand are just my favorite denim lines, but I tried something new. It was recommended to me that I try Paige denim. I've been aware of Paige for many, many years, never tried their denim. And I finally got into a couple of pairs and I am obsessed. So in Paige, I do wear a size 29. So a little bit bigger than what I wear in Frame and J brand. But again, size is just a number and these fit so well. So this is a size 29 
in page denim. It's this nice light wash. And let me get you guys the name. This is the Hoxton Straight Ankle Jean. These are just so comfortable, so stretchy. I love the weight of them. They are thick enough that they feel like a nice quality denim, but thin enough that I can still get away with wearing them like as a denim jean here in this hot, hot weather. And most importantly, although they are nice and stretchy and fitted, they don't give me a camel toe, which is like a huge, huge deal for me. I always have that problem with denim that's like stretchier for some reason. I don't know why my body is like that, but it just happens. So. Yeah, these are pretty perfect all around. Again, it's the Hoxton Straight Ankle. All right, guys, that is it for my new purchases. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of these items. Let me know if you will be buying any of these items or if you have any of these items. Thanks again for watching, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.